Let's get bullish on Bitcoin and tell you why we are in an accumulation phase where you should be trying to hold on to assets or create more assets, whether it's a stock market or crypto. But we're going to go into Bitcoin and why this is probably the best vehicle for you to judge that this is turning into a bull market. We've got the ETFs that are getting ready to get approved come january they may get approved here in the next couple days but likelihood is probably going to be january so we're going to have a very green december where it's buy the rumor sell the news and then onwards to that fourth having here in 2024 where we've got this last little line here where things will probably start completely taking off so you got to be patient about this but how this works is you basically have the dark blue line is fire sale and then dark red line is oh my gosh you should think about selling so what is going on well before the first having when bitcoin was invented you've got its first big cycle upwards of four dollars then it crashed all the way down where is that? Nope. It went up to $6. And then where's the crash there? Uh, crashed all the way down to about 20 cents. Then, boom, went up to $20. Then crashed all the way down to about $2. And then the first halving, 2013, before it got into that red territory, it was 8 hundred dollars and then that sucker crashed all the way down to 230 and then we have the second having this is where a lot of my friends got into crypto right after the 2017 this was pre-pandemic and we got up to 17,000 and that sucker crashed all the way down to about 3,000 then we've got the current cycle that most people got in and we had an all-time high of close to 69,000. This guy is saying right around the 66,000. And where are we now? We are downwards of that basically fire sale territory. And now we're in the accumulation of the whole 37,000 currently. Where I think we're at like 35 on trading view. Where are we? 36, right? The S&P 500 is down today. Uh, here, I can go in here. But the point being that I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, and this sucker is looking like we are headed in a upward trajectory come this next halving. You can see after each halving, right? After each halving, you'll notice that there is some pumps. But it happens after the halving. You know, usually in the first part, of that having cycle so we're looking here's the having it might not be 2025 until we start seeing a big big pump up here where this is suggesting uh 280,000 to 375 would be that oh crap territory here and it goes all the way up to half a million dollars come 2028 here let me change this sucker see if we can get this to go out further right and now where does it hit a million dollars in there 2029 of july <laughs> crazy absolutely crazy so let's let's look at some of the the chart here where we see we've got the golden cross on the daily here how does the monthly look yeah this is a perpetual contract so it's not giving me much but we are definitely in a trend we are definitely in a trend currently, which the new low would be would be thirteen thousand, which isn't going to happen on Bitcoin. Let's let's zoom in here and we can see where that next line where we need to fall to to get to a new lower low would be twenty six, right? As long as we can relatively stay above the thirty two thousand dollar mark, we should be fine. We are in bull territory right now and ethereum what does ethereum look like ethereum here i got some stuff that i can get rid of ethereum we've got a low of 
1919 here in the last couple of days. Today, we got to 1925. So truthfully, that is still bouncing off of this line here, right? So we're bouncing off of some support right around here, which is decent. And then we've got resistance currently right around the 2050 mark, right? I, th I think that's fair to say. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on the daily that is suggesting uh, the stochastics is going down, but it looks like there is a bounce coming on the hourly. Let me zoom in on the hourly. What does the hourly look like? Oh, it's got a death cross on the hourly. That makes sense. Uh, we have hit a new lower low, but on the larger time frames, not as much. We are oversold currently at the moment. If this sucker breaks down, where would we see on Ethereum? The next catch it would be probably right under 1900 if we get a long wick here. I'm thinking we might not get under that 1919, but we will, we will see. I do suspect by Christmas we are going to see a new all-time high for the year of the 2140 range. But that's what I am thinking. And I hope you guys understand what is going on with this Bitcoin rainbow and the opportunity that you have in front of you to accumulate. This is Johnny Crypto. I'm going to be here throughout the process. And this is how money is made. You know, you got to bet some decent money in order to make good money. That's why a lot of people like the real risky altcoin stuff because you can see people put in a thousand dollars and have a hundred thousand dollars and then you can transfer that stuff to bitcoin but it's very hard to do very hard to do you need to kind of know what you're doing the the safer bet is definitely investing in bitcoin but you need to have good amounts of money to do it and ethereum would be the next one to do it Ooh, we just got a major drop of the 19 <laughs> 19 Ooh, did that touch did that break the last one here we might see it happen here dun, dun, dun. let's go on the 15 minute what does the 15 minute look like Ooh, it is starting to try to break over oh man that was close that was close to break down there, but it's bouncing off of it. Anyway, this is Johnny Crypto. Here to help you guys make some money.